Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss Unit 2 from Grade 9 Science that is Classification of Living Beings. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and for more updates, hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share this video among your friends and don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Here in this unit, we are going to discuss classification, binomial system of nomenclature, genus and species, five kingdom system of classification, characteristics of monera, protista, and fungi with examples. Classification The process of grouping of organisms into different groups and subgroups on the basis of similarities and differences is called classification. Importance of classification it helps in studying wide varieties of living organisms. It provides a clear picture of all life forms before us. It helps in understanding the interrelationship among different groups of organisms. It provides a base for the development of other biological sciences. Taxonomy The branch of science that deals with the identification, classification, and nomenclature of organisms is called taxonomy. Carlos Linnaeus is known as the father of taxonomy as he proposed two kingdom system of classification and also a scientific name to them. Binomial system of nomenclature. The process of giving two names to the organism, that is first generic name and second specific name, is called binomial system of nomenclature. Rules of writing scientific name. There exists two parts of a name. The first word identifies the genus and the second word identifies the species. When the names are handwritten, they are underlined or italicized with types. This is done to specify its Latin origin. The name of the genus starts with a capital letter and the name of the species starts with a small letter. Genus It is the first higher category above the species level and it is an assemblage of related species. Species It is defined as a group of plants and animals closely related structurally, functionally, and can interbreed freely and produce fertile offspring. Some common scientific names of organism are given here. Moss are Brassica campesis, P. Pisum sativa, Maize, G. Maize, Paddy, Oza sativa, Potato, Solanum tuberosum, Tiger, Panthera tigris, Man, Homo sapiens, Cat, Phyllus catus, Dog, Canis lupus, Cow, Boas taurus, Lion, Panthera leo. Advantages of binomial system of nomenclature. It is simple and very precise in its uniformity. In this, all species are in a simple, uniform manner. This is accessible and may show the name of the organism to be used for the future. It offers a description of the affinities for us, which serves as an assistant, memory, and provide basic plant information that we don't know about. It it makes it easier to talk about a group of species that have certain characteristics that are common. Hierarchical system of classification. It is the element of categories by providing the rank to each category. The categories such as kingdom, phyla or division, class, order, family, genera and species are seven categories of hierarchical classification. First one kingdom. The kingdom is the highest level of classification which is divided into subgroups at various levels. There are five kingdoms in which the living organisms are classified, namely Animalia, Plantae, Fungi, Protista, and Monera. Phylum This is the next level of classification and is more specific than the kingdom. There are 35 phyla in kingdom Animalia, for example, Porifera, Codata, Arthropoda, etc. Class Class was the most general rank in the taxonomic hierarchy until phyla were not introduced. Kingdom Animalia includes 108 classes including class, Mammalia, Reptilia, Apes, etc. However, the classes used today are not from those proposed by Linnaeus and are not used frequently. Order Order is a more specific rank than class. The order constitutes one or more than one similar families. There are around 26 orders in class Mammalia such as Primates, Carnivora, etc. Family This category of taxonomic hierarchy includes various genera that shares a few similarities. For example, the families in, in the order 
carnivora includes canidae, felidae, ursidae, etc. Genus A group of similar species forms a genus. Some genera have only one species and is known as monotypic, whereas some have more than one species and is known as phylotypic. For example, lion and tiger are placed under the genus Panthera. Species It is the lowest level of taxonomy hierarchy. There are about 8.7 million different species on earth. It refers to a group of organisms that are similar in shape, form, reproductive features. Species can be further divided into subspecies. So here is example of taxonomic hierarchy of a human. Kingdom Animalia, Phylum, Codata, Class, Mammalia, Order, Primates, Family, Hominidae, Genus, Homo, Species, Sapiens. System of classification. There are two separate systems of classification. First one, two kingdom system of classification. Second, five kingdom system of classification. Two kingdom system of classification. Carlos Linnaeus first came up with a two kingdom system of, uh, of classification which included only kingdom Plantae and kingdom Animalia. There are lots of limitation drawback of two kingdom system of class classification. Unicell and multicellular organisms are not distinguished clearly. There is not satisfactory separation of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Algae and fungi are not distinguished properly. It is not able to classify all the organisms. Putting all the organisms in either plant or animal kingdom was insufficient because there were a lot of organisms which could not be classified as either plants or animals. Five kingdom system of classification. All this confusion led to a new mode of classification which had to take into account cell structure, the presence of cell wall, mode of reproduction and mode of nutrition. As a result, R.S. Whittaker came up with the concept of Five Kingdom System of Classification. The Five Kingdom System of Classification is based on the following characteristics of the organisms. Cell organization of cell, unicellular and multicellular organism. Cell structure and parts of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Lifestyle, producer, consumer or decomposer. Nutrition mode, autotropic or heterotropic. Evolutionary history of the organism from primitive to advanced form. Advantages of Five Kingdom System of Classification Five Kingdom Classification is better and more natural than Two Kingdom Classification. It places the unicellular and multicellular organisms separately. It places the autotrophs and heterotrophs separately. It places the fungi in a separate group, kingdom fungi, as it has a different mode of nutrition. It places the prokaryotes in a separate group, that is kingdom monera. According to this system, the organisms are divided into five kingdoms. They are monera, unicellular prokaryotes, example bacteria, protista, unicellular eukaryotes, example protozoa, fungi, multicellular decomposers, example mushroom, Plantae, multicellular producers, example green plants. Animalia, multicellular consumer, example animals. Kingdom Monera. The Kingdom Monera includes all the prokaryotes, features of monerans. Bacteria occur everywhere and they are microscopic in nature. They possess a cell wall and are prokaryotic. The cell wall is formed of amino acid and polysaccharides. Bacteria can be heterotropic or autotropic. The heterotropic bacteria can be parasitic or saprophytic. The autotropic bacteria can be chemosynthetic or photosynthetic. Example Bacteria, Cyanobacteria, Azotobacter, Mycoplasm, Blue Green Algae, etc. Classification of Monera Kingdom Monera is classified into three sub kingdoms Archaeobacteria, Eubacteria, and Cyanobacteria. Archaeobacteria. These are the most ancient bacteria found in the most extreme habitats such as salty area, halophilus, example halobacterium, halococcus, etc. Hot springs, thermoacidophilus, example sulfolobus, thermoplasm, etc. And marshy area, methanogens, methanococcus. The structure of cell wall is different from that of other bacteria which helps them survive in extreme conditions.
the mode of nutrition is autotrophic eubacteria eubacteria are also known as true bacteria the cell wall is rigid and made up of poly a peptidoglycans it moves with the help of flagella a few bacteria contain short appendages on the cell surface known as pili which helps the bacteria during sexual reproduction pili also helps a pathogen to attach to the host example rhizobium clostridium rhodoesperidium vibrio etc cyanobacteria these are also known as blue green algae these bacteria are photosynthetic in nature they contain photosynthetic pigments such as chlorophyll carotenoids and phycobilins they are found in aquatic region some of these even fix atmospheric nitrogen example nostoc anabena spirulina etc kingdom protista the kingdom protista includes all the eukaryotes protista has the following important features they are unicellular and eukaryotic organisms some of them are cilia or flagella for mobility sexual reproduction is by a process of cell fusion and zygote formation Example: Plasmodium, Leishmania, Giardia, Trypanosoma, Amoeba, Paramecium, Iglina, etc. Subgroups of Protista. Kingdom Protista is categorized into subsequent groups: Chrysophytes, the Golden Algae, Desmids, and Diatoms fall under this group. They are found in marine and freshwater habitats. Dinoflagellates. They are usually photosynthetic and marine. The color they appear is dependent on the key pigments in their cells. They appear red, blue, brown, green, or yellow. Iglinoids. Most of them live in freshwater habitation in motionless water. The cell wall is absent in them. Instead, there is a protein-rich layer called a pellicle. Cymols. These are saprophytic. The body moves along putrefying leaves and twing, twings and nourishes itself on organic material. Under favorable surroundings, they form an accumulation and wear called plasmodial slime molds. Protozoans. They are heterotrophs and survive either as a parasite or freely. Kingdom fungi. The kingdom fungi includes molds, mushroom, yeast, etc. This shows a variety of applications in domestic as well as commercial purposes. Features of kingdom fungi: the fungi are filamentous, excluding each single cell. Their figure comprises slender, long, thread-like constructions called hyphae. The web of hyphae is called mycelium. Some of the hyphae are unbroken tubes. Which are jam-packed with multinucleated cytoplasm. Such hyphae are labeled sinusitic hyphae. The other type of hyphae has cross wall or septae. The cell wall of fungi is composed of polysaccharides and keratin. Most of the fungi are saprophytes and are heterotrophic. Some of the fungi also survive as symbionts. Some are parasites. Some are symbionts. Some of the symbiont fungi live in association with algae, like lichen. Some symbiont fungi live in association with higher plants, as mycorrhizae. On the basis of nutrition, kingdom fungi can be classified into three groups: saprophytic fungi. The fungi obtain their nutrition by feeding on dead organic substances, example, mucor, yeast, rhizopods, penicillin. Aspergillus, etc. Parasitic fungi. The fungi obtain their nutrition by living or by living on other living organisms, plants or animals, and absorb nutrients from their host. Example: Tapirina, Puccinia, Albigo, Istilago, etc. Symbiotic fungi. This fungi live by having an in interdependent relationship with other species in which Both are mutually benefited. Example: lichen, mycorrhizae. Lichens are the sy uh, symbiotic association between algae and fungi. Here, both algae and fungi are mutually benefited as fungi provide shelter for algae, and in reverse, algae synthesizes carbohydrates for fungi. Mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizae is the symbiotic association pre present between fungi and plants. 
fungi improve nutrients uptake by plants whereas plants provide molecules like sugar to the fungus so here is one question what is trinomene give an example trinomene is the trinomial name given to the animals apart from the genus name and the species name it is given to identify all subspecies for example the trinomene of the gray wolf subspecies the arctic wolf is canis lupus arctus differences between genus and species genus it consists of large number of organism whereas species it consists of a fewer number of organism genus it is higher classification than species whereas species it is the fundamental level of classification difference between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell prokaryotic cell the genetic material is not bounded by a nuclear membrane whereas in eukaryotic cell the genetic material is bounded by nuclear membrane mitochondria are absent in prokaryotic cell whereas mitochondria they are present in eukaryotic cell difference between two kingdom system of classification and five kingdom system of classification Two kingdom system of classification was proposed by Carlos Linnaeus, whereas five kingdom it was proposed by R. S. Whitaker. Organisms are divided into two kingdoms in two kingdom system of classification, whereas organisms they are divided into five kingdoms in five kingdom system of classification. By this we have come to the notes of this unit uh, classification of living beings. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video please share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any queries drop the comments in comment section. See you in next video. Thank you.